Hello, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney, and this is Florida Alimony 101. Before I begin, I would like to thank the person who suggested this topic. If you have a particular topic or suggestion you'd like to have me cover, please feel free to leave it in a comment below. So let's say you're married and you or your partner is looking for a divorce. One of the things that can come up, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, is alimony. But what is alimony? Alimony is the support for your partner after you guys divorce. It's not gender specific. It's strictly based on what one party has brought to the table versus the other. To minimize it a little bit, it's if one person makes much more than the other person and that same person supported the other throughout the marriage, that person may be subjectable to paying alimony. What needs to be addressed first when dealing with alimony is need and the ability to pay. The person requesting alimony has to show that they in fact have a need for alimony and that the other party who they're seeking alimony from has the ability to actually pay the alimony that they're requesting. Some of the things that needs to be addressed when dealing with alimony is the earnings of the parties, the age, health, and education of the parties, the length of the marriage, as well as the values of the parties' estates, which is the monies that they have accessible to them, and a host of other factors. Once the courts address need and ability to pay, if there is a need and ability to pay, then you go into the types of alimony that could possibly be awarded. The most typical example people hear about is permanent alimony, in which you would have to pay a set sum over the lifetime of the other party or until particular circumstances change. But there is also durational alimony, rehabilitative alimony, bridge the gap alimony, and lump sum alimony. Although the requirements of receiving each form of alimony vary depending on the length of time you've been married and the needs of the particular party who's seeking alimony, the main differences are these. The difference between permanent and durational alimony is that permanent alimony has no end date. Durational alimony typically cannot be awarded longer than the parties have been married. So if you've been married for 12 years, for example, your alimony award cannot exceed 12 years. Rehabilitative alimony is more so to address the needs of the party requesting alimony and becoming self-sufficient, whether that be monies for them to go to school, get a particular training, or anything else that would allow them to support themselves post-marriage. Bridge the gap alimony is made more so to last about two years and is to address the short-term needs of transitioning from being married back to single. And lump sum alimony is typically addressed when none of the alimony awards can adequately compensate the party requesting alimony and lump sum is one of the results to assist in that. Now, to be clear, alimony is separate from child support. In fact, alimony is addressed prior to child support because depending on the amount of alimony awarded, it affects the amount of child support for the parties. However, alimony is addressed after equitable distribution, which is the distribution of the party's assets because depending on how the assets are distributed, it can affect how alimony is addressed. Now, alimony is a complicated subject which has so much nuance to it, it would be difficult for me not to tell you to at least seek the advice and counsel of an attorney who has addressed alimony issues before. So if you or someone you know 
have alimony issues as part of their divorce, contact my office. We'll sit you down for a consultation and we'll help you through the process. And if you found this information helpful, please like, share, and look at my other videos. My name is Mark Joseph and thank you for watching.